is Power Director 365 just as good as CapCut? Part 4, the series finale. If you're new to this series, be sure to check out these three videos beforehand. What I'm doing is pretty much taking this video and seeing if I can replicate all the effects that it's showing. So these are all the effects that the video covers. These are the ones that worked and these are the ones that did not work. And for this last video here, I'm gonna be covering these effects and spoiler alert again, they all work. And real quick, here is a preview of the four effects that I'll be covering today. All of them worked out and hope you enjoy this one. So with this first effect that's called split screen here, it's a really cool one to have when you have the final product. So I want to show you what it's about here. Uh, but it's pretty much taking like three video files or three different kind of media files and combining into one screen. Um, so I'm going to pick a couple here or three of them here. But I'm going to start with one first actually. So let me find a file here. So I'm going to start with this one right here. And I'm, it's a minute and a half worth of video. So I'm going to trim it down to 10 seconds here. So I'm going to do that real quick. So I have the video file trimmed down to 10 seconds. I'm going to click on it hit edit and over here I'm going to go over to mask and this is where the magic happens this is where I hit the parallel button right there and you see right here it, it, it is parallel lines so you could have it many different like kind of ways of uh, showing so you have parallel lines here but if you want to like diagonal it there's that green button just kind of click and rotate it there and also you could make it as small or as big as you want there so I'm going to leave it just right there now I'm going to put find another video file here to kind of add to it here so I found this second video file here. Again, I'm gonna take it, bring it down to the second track just for now. Uh, trim it down to 10 seconds and remove it. Here's the third one that I found. Again, trim it down to 10 seconds. So I shifted around the tracks here. So what ended up happening, this one down here, this is the one that has the mask applied. This is the middle one right here. And then I moved these two other ones around just based on uh, where one on the left side and right side so at least for this one here this person I actually let me just move this slide this over but so you can see but I have moved the video file over as well just so you can see the person uh, same thing with the first one too um, or this top one here I moved the person just so you can see them so what you get is this final product here it looks really cool So yes, absolutely, when it comes to split screen, you can definitely do this within PowerDirector, so thumbs up to that. So the next effect is called progress bar animation. What it is, is just pretty much what it says. It's gonna be like this bar at the bottom of the screen that shows kind of like a duration of time here. So let's get started right here. Um, but what I did, I just got a color board from the media. I just put it on a, a one different, one color here. I'm gonna change the duration. It's at defaulted to mine, it's at defaulted on five seconds. I'm gonna change it to seven seconds, hit okay. From there, I'm gonna go to titles and just get one of my default titles, bring it down to the second track here. Again, same thing for duration. I'm gonna change it to seven seconds as well. So it's just as long as um, the, the color board there. And so what I'm gonna do here from my title, click on it, hit edit. And before I type, I'll kind of change around uh, what it looks like. I'm gonna go all the way down here and go to position and size, boost it all the way up to six. So this will make sense in just a minute here, but what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get rid of the part that says my title and just use underscores until it fits the whole screen. And what you can do from here also is you can also resize it so it fits the whole screen as well. So let me do that real quick. All right, so I have my progress bar all lined up here. And so I just moved up here just so you can see it on the screen, but I do still have it highlighted here. And from here, I'm gonna go to, over to animation and I'm gonna find an effect, so I'm gonna make sure it's an in. I'm gonna find an effect called hide right. So let me get that right now. So this is hide right right here. You just wanna click on it. You can tell this is very fast when I click on it. So what I'm gonna do, there's this duration. I'm just gonna move it all the way out to the right so it's six seconds long. And when you move the duration to seven seconds and just hit play, this is what it looks like. So you can see the progress bar moving from left to right over duration of time there. So yeah, absolutely you can do this within PowerDirector just like in CapCut. Another thumbs up. So the next effect is called the floating effect. What it is is taking an image or a video file and just having that like bounce up or up and down the screen. So let me get started here. What I'm gonna do is take an image file from the stock media. I'm gonna take this one here. 
I just want to see the kind of the basket of apples here. So I'm going to apply a mask to it, Let's hit edit. I'm going to go over to the circle here and just move this circle around until I get the whole basket of apples here. All right, so I have the mask applied to this image here. What I'm going to do from here is go back to the edit menu, go to animation and over in loop here, I'm going to go over to loop and there's all these different options that have that kind of that floating effect. You have something like a wiggle position here. So that's a wiggle position there. What I like to use for this floating effect is something called jump slightly. And you kind of see just kind of the small little subtle up and down it goes, but there's also all these other animations you can do for the loop as well. So let me just do, run down the list real quick. Here's jumpy, wavy, rotate, tremble's a big one, flashing, heartbeat's fun too, and then also a 3D wave. So for floating effect, absolutely you can do this for an image or a video file within PowerDirector, so third thumbs up there. So for the last effects in the series, it's called video and text. I think we saved the best for last here, but it's a really cool one to have um, just because you've probably seen it in vlogs or certain videos or like high production videos, but it's pretty much having text, but with the background of that text, I'd be in a moving video object. So what we're gonna do to get this started is go over to the titles. I'm gonna use my default text here. So I don't have like a color board or anything. It's just the typical black screen here. I'm gonna change the title to uh, something that I want here. So you can see that this, this text here is small. I want to get it as big as possible. You can really see the video object behind it when I do apply it. So what I'm gonna do, hit bold. I could change around my font if I want, but I do like how, how kind of like block style this looks. So I'm just gonna resize it to take up most of the screen. So I have the text all lined up here. Now what I want to do is get a video file for the background here. So what I'm gonna do is get, go back to my stock media and find a video. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this one where they're skiing. I'm gonna bring it down here. And because this is only five seconds, I'm just gonna trim down this video file to two, five seconds as well. And positioning is really important here. You wanna make sure the text is on top and then the video files here. But when you have something like this, you say, hey, where's the text? But what we do, hit the video file, go hit edit, back to video. Now back over here to opacity, fade and blend. We're gonna click on that. In the blending mode, we're gonna go all the way down to multiply. So once I hit multiply, you see it's gonna be applied right away, but this is what it looks like. It's a really cool effect. You see some of the movement over here. It's definitely a cool one to have. If you wanted to get a little more fancy with the text, you could definitely do that. So if you wanted to add like a border, you go hit the text here, hit edit, and then down here, I could change the border. So it's already defaulted on red. Let me change it to like maybe a purplish type of color. I can do that, hit okay, and then let's see what it looks like from here. So you can see the purple color come through and then the people moving in the background. So for video and text in PowerDirector, absolutely you can do this just like in CapCut. It's a cool little effect to have and it makes your video stand out so much more. And yeah, absolutely you can do this one. So thumbs up for the fourth time. So there you have it with these four effects. I'm able to replicate in PowerDirector 365 just like in CapCut, which is great. With this whole series here, only two of the effects did not work out in PowerDirector. The rest did, which is great news. Like I said in the past, there's no perfect video editor out there. CapCut is great, PowerDirector is great, among many others. So use what you're comfortable with using. And thank you so much for sticking to the end here. If you enjoyed this series, please let me know. I could definitely do a lot more of these. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. If you made it here, you are at the end, end of my video. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. Real quick, only 5% of the viewers of my channel are subscribers, so it'd be huge if you could either like, comment, or even subscribe to my channel. It'd be really cool and really help me out quite a bit for this small channel here. So again, thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.